All right, kids, are you ready to get in our bag this morning? That's right, today's image is that of a bag. Didn't get this directly from scripture. I actually got the idea from a well-loved Disney classic, Mary Poppins. Yes, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Mary Poppins, she just reaches in her bag and pulls out something that she needs. Anytime she needs something, she just reaches in her bag and whatever she needs, it's in there. Don't you wish you had a bag like that? If her food is a little tasteless, you know, she would reach into her bag and surely there would be some salt. If she was hungry, she might pull out this overripe banana. Hers would probably be a little better. Or if she was in a place where she needed some light, there might be a candle waiting for her, ready to go. It's like every time she reaches in her bag, she pulls out something she needs. It just seems like what she needs comes to her. And guys, I've wondered, do you ever think of the Bible like that? Sometimes I reach into the Bible and I'm a little confused at what I get. So, so why do I think God's Word is a bit like Mary Poppins' bag? Well, there's this excellent passage in Scripture in Isaiah chapter 55. God says that as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return to it without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish so that it yields seed for the sower and bread for the eater, so is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. God is comparing his word to the water cycle. If you want a quick science lesson, here's a little bit more about the water cycle. In the water cycle, water comes from the sky in the form of precipitation. Think of rain, think of snow, think of rain and snow, think of snizzle. It gets onto the ground and it runs off into creeks and waters and everything. All the plants are given water and nutrients and then it evaporates into the sky to repeat the same process over and over again. Everything thriving and growing from this amazing cycle. So guys, as you can see, the water cycle brings a mixed bag a bunch of weather, right? It could be rain, it could be snow, it could be snizzle, it could be sleet. All of these things that you know from living in Boone, especially in the spring. Beware the false spring. That we don't really know exactly what to expect from the weather, but the water does what God wants it to do. And as a result, we have beautiful forests and flowers and fields and all of that kind of stuff. When I dive into the Bible, sometimes I don't feel like it's quite like Mary Poppins' bag because what comes out sometimes is somewhat unexpected and I'm not sure what to do with it. Have you ever felt that way about the Bible? Kids, I'm sure you and your parents, you'll read Bible, some, Bible stories sometimes before going to bed, right? And, and you know that sometimes you read a story and they read a story and you're like, huh. I'm not sure what to do with that. Or, kids, if, if you're uh, old enough to be thumbing through this thing by yourself, you've probably read through some things and you're like, I'm not really sure what's going on here. I remember at a summer camp and they said, hey, let's do some Bible devotional reading. And I've opened like, oh, let's just go to the end of the book, right? And I'm reading something in Revelation about dragons and horns. And, and then I think the next day I was in Daniel and there was this horn that was talking. What? And, and, and sometimes you read stuff like that and you're like, I don't know what just came out of the bag. It's not quite as smooth as Mary Poppins. Here's what I want you to get. You can trust God and you can trust his word and you can trust that what comes out of it is something. Even if it doesn't seem like it at the moment, it's going to be useful and it's going to accomplish something in you. So kids, while it seems like sometimes God's word feels like a mixed bag, a bag full of things that maybe don't make sense right now, I promise you that what comes out of it is good stuff. What comes out of God's word is good, good stuff. And no, sometimes it's not quite as easy to use as Mary Poppins' bag, but God's word will accomplish something in us. And when we read the Bible, even the parts that confuse us, it's his word is going to accomplish something in us. Just like rain or snow, even that weather that we don't understand is doing something good 
just like God's Word. So even the parts of the Bible that we don't understand or we find strange, I encourage you, trust the God whose Word you're reading. The person who made this bag is someone you can trust. And there's something special about the fact that the kids just trust what Mary Poppins is going to do. Guys, our God is even better than Mary Poppins. And what comes out of His Word is even better than what comes out of Mary Poppins' bag. So let's trust God. Let's discover the deep bag of Scripture and be changed by God's Word. I hope this is encouraging. Kids, keep reading your Bibles. Parents, have those conversations. Let me just add one more thing. If, if you pull something out of the Bible and you're like, I have no idea what's going on here, this is the great opportunity to talk to your parents. So parents, kids, as you read through Scripture together, as you explore the landscape of the Bible, let's ask questions. Let's dig deep and let's trust the God whose word we're reading. I promise you that His word will accomplish something beautiful and amazing in our hearts and lives. All right, kids, keep digging in the deep bag that is the Bible. Godspeed. We better keep an eye on this one. She's tricky. She's wonderful.